In today's video, how to remove wood trim so that it can be replaced or reused again later. The methods that I'm going to be showing today work on painted trim like what we have here, but they also work on stained trim as well. In addition, these methods also can be applied to different types of trim profiles, including some baseboards. The first step is to cut the caulk joint between the wall and the trim, and then between the trim and the door jam itself. As a side note, if you're working with stained trim, you may not have this caulk joint, but always get in the habit of just verifying, making sure that there's nothing there before you move on. Now that the trim is no longer held by the caulking, it's time to loosen up the nails that are still holding it in place. And my go-to tool for removing trim is this amazing little pry bar scraper. Slowly work the flat end of the bar between the trim and the wall. If you need to give the bar a slight tap with a hammer, go ahead, but be careful. Once the bar is behind the trim, pry up slightly so that the bar is leveraging off the sheetrock that's behind the trim. So if damage occurs, it's behind the trim and it'll be hidden. Working up, continue loosening the trim till you get about halfway. From there, you can go back down and start working from both sides, as well as getting your fingers behind the trim, carefully pulling and working it loose as you move towards the top. At the top, look for a nail or a spline that's installed right at the 45 degree joint. The nail is the best option to find as it comes out fairly easy. But here to my surprise, I had the spline, which as you can see gave me a bit of a challenge. And that's why it's a good idea to always start at the bottom because you never know what you're going to get into at the top. I also want to add that if you need a little bit more leverage than what this little bar can give you, you can use a larger flat pry bar as well. But just make sure that when you're using the tool that you use a wood scrap block to put up against the wall to leverage off of. When it comes to removing the nails from the trim, always remove the nails from the back side, never driving the nails towards the finished side. To remove the nails, simply use a set of end cut pliers and slowly remove the nails, which leaves the finished side completely free of holes. So now that you know how to remove one piece of trim, all the other pieces are gonna come off using similar techniques. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until we see each other again, be well and stay safe.